it's T from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm here to teach you a couple things about Effectseer. It's an awesome software that we're going to be able to use with the new upcoming MZ Engine. I'm so excited! I can't wait for it to come out. It's coming out sometime this summer. I don't know the exact date, but we can use this software to easily make animations and just drop the file right into MZ and it'll be able to be used. It saves the location info and everything. Now you can use this on MV, but it doesn't save the location info. It just gives you images. So you have to do all the rest of the work in MV. Plus it's more heavyweight because it's a giant sprite sheet. But anyways, let's take a look at this. If you'd like it, go ahead and grab Effectseer. Go ahead and grab Effectseer at effectseer.github.io slash en and just download it from this tab. But we're going to take a look at the documentation because in this series I'm going to take you through the documentation found here in the tutorial section. This first one will be sample and use. Let's get started. Now here's what you're going to start with when you first download effects here. Um, and you really don't see anything on the screen. It could be a little intimidating. If you want to see the particle that you start with, you just have to hit this play button. And there we go. The starting particle is just a little box. So the first thing that we're going to learn is how to make this box something cool. We're going to pull in a sample that comes with effects here by clicking the basic render settings and selecting nodes so that we know, you know, we're, we're actually doing something with something. This is the something you have to do something with. So we're going to load uh, one of these sample things that they give you. Why don't we do line one? Let's load line one. So now you see it's not a box anymore. It's a line. It's very pretty. Anyways, we're gonna move on, and the next thing that we're gonna learn is how to record this line. Say we wanna make a sprite sheet or a GIF or, or anything, really. We would go to this handy dandy little record tab here. It won't, it won't appear here until you put it here. First, you're gonna find it on this window tab, and if you'd like to add any of these options to this section here, you just open it and then drag it into this section wherever you'd like it, and pow, there it is. We're going to record a GIF of this lovely, still, boring image, just to show you how it works. So down here, we're going to decide uh, the starting frame and the ending frame. Uh, ours is 120. The lifetime of our animation is 120. If you'd like to change that, by the way, you just click this and put in whatever number you'd like. So we're actually going to make this 30. Now the lifetime of the animation, if I play it, is only 30 frames. So we pick the end frame of 30, and that means we're picking up the entire animation. That will give us 30 frames of the entire animation, but say you want a smaller file, you can actually choose to skip a frame, say. If I set this to two, it will actually only give you 15 frames in the end, but we're gonna set it to one because 30 is not a lot. Now, we're not gonna export it as a single image because we're not trying to get a sprite sheet. Instead, we wanna show this awesome animation off to our friends. So we're gonna pick export as a GIF animation, and you, pr you can set this to none. You can probably also use generate alpha, but I've always used none. And then it's just as simple as hitting record, saving where you want it to be. Awesome. Animation. It's the best animation ever. I'm sorry you guys can't have it. It's just too expensive. There's no way you could afford it. And then you record. So you find that file and you can drag that into Discord. You can share it with people on RPG Maker Web. You can do pretty much whatever you want with it, but it's super simple and easy. And this is actually all we're gonna go over for this one since that's page one of the documentation. I'll see you guys soon with page two. Thank you for coming. If you like this tutorial and you wanna see more, hit that like button and that bell. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, we got more coming, you guys. This is exciting. Bye.